pass rush is an art form taught, not bought. A strip sack is devastation. Hey, Robert Beckman, you can't even get that method. The Colts have the football. It's a drive killer, <laughs> momentum killer. The ball is knocked away again. There's a science behind it. See ball, get ball. Ball, ball is stripped. If I can take the football from your quarterback and give it to my quarterback, we can steal an extra series or two. Mathis got him. Oh, the lost the ball. I'm Robert Mathis. Quarterback hater, Super Bowl champion, NFL strip sacks, and forced fumbles leader. Ball is batted up the air, Robert Mathis! And these are the secrets to the strip sack. Getting some pressure, clattered away and knocked out of his hands by Mathis. Robert Mathis with a sack, knocked it out of his hands. The key element is not missing. <laughs> It starts with film study. You have to know the animal that you're hunting. Is the quarterback left-handed? Is he right-handed? Where's his favorite escape route? Does he hold the ball with two hands? Does he hold it with one hand? Where's he looking? Is he looking down the field? Or is he looking at Freeney over his shoulder or Robert coming from the front side? These are the things that we watch on film. What kind of tail? The quarterback likes to find a tail on defense. We like to do the same in the art of pass rush. Pressure coming, he gets hit. The ball's loose, the Colts have it. The Colts have it. It is Robert Mathis with another strip sack. When I'm in my stance, I'm burning a hole through the offensive lineman's outside knee. That is typically the first thing that moves on the line of scrimmage. So that's gonna trigger you to get out of your stance. So once that happens, you have to attack the space of the offensive lineman because they're retreating, we're attacking. So pass rush is all attack on our fronts. You gotta rob the bank. You gotta get in, you gotta get out. Don't mess around with the O-lineman too much because too much attention to him prevents you from getting to him, <laughs> which is the quarterback. It's typically 3.2 seconds between snap and throw, so you really have to haul ass. Once you get to him, you have to first secure the tackle. Now it's time to take the football. You come with a tomahawk over to the right or left hand, so depending on your angle of entry, you're gonna separate the quarterback from the ball with your technique. One popular way is the peanut punch. Charles Tillman, AKA Peanut, he would just punch the ball and just punch through. You also have the rake, which is you come around and you rake the fingers off of the football to kind of flick the ball out. The next one is my favorite, the straight tomahawk. I'm trying to take your shoulder with me. <laughs> you have to secure the tackle, secure, and bring your opposite hand over the top and just try to pin the elbow. On the arm, the elbow is the strongest part of the arm. If you can get that, you can have all this right here. So he's gonna let the ball go once you bring enough force over that elbow. He's hit the ball is loose, I knocked out of his hands by Mathis. More times than not, I really never notice when the ball is out. You have to depend on your teammates. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, footwork, alignment, assignment, key technique, and get to the football. And who has the football? The quarterback. Flattered away and knocked out of his hands by Mathis. And those are the secrets of the strip sack.